Modua to me. Oh, I'm scared. Breaks in my head, yeah. I'm kind of liking that. <laughs> guys what's poppin what's crackin lacking your girl is out here all throwed out okay i've just taken out my under wig cornrows so i'm about to wash my hair i'm gonna have my dinner first and then i'm gonna wash my hair and then i'm gonna ask natanya to help me to re-cornrow my hair for under my wig i ain't about to have my natural hair out right now in this cold winter season that we're in this is protective hairstyle season okay even when it's not protective hairstyle season i just prefer to throw a wig on and let my hair flourish underneath my wigs and every now and then I'll have my hair out. Those of you that have watched the last vlog enjoyed it so we're just gonna keep going we're just gonna give you my daily vlogs or whatever this is actually gonna be like a day and a bit continuing it tomorrow but um yeah let me just give you guys a quick rundown of what I've been doing today okay today is Monday Monday the 15th of February it is the first day of my water drinking challenge shout out to everyone who follows me on Instagram that has been tagging me and using the hashtag and letting me know that you're taking up the challenge and you started so yeah day one here's my water bottle I'm almost done it's 8 p.m and I'm almost done with my two liter I actually want to try and aim for two and a half liters because I've been doing two liters for a while now and I think I can I can just like just just push myself a little bit you know just give myself a little bit of a, a little bit of a push you know aim for 2.5 liters so yeah i'm gonna try and do that my water drinking challenge has started if you're interested in taking part head over to my instagram and check out the highlights in my bio awdc and all the details of how to get involved is there it's not too late to join the two-week water drinking challenge and we're only just on the first day entering the second day tomorrow so if you're watching this vlog and you want to get involved make sure you go to my instagram and check that out other than drinking my water today i kind of started the day just like cleaning the whole house because I hadn't cleaned on Sunday because I was too busy editing so I decided that I was going to spend today cleaning the house tidying lighting a candle or two I had loads of washing that I needed to do so loaded up the washing machine I feel like most of you have seen what my living room looks like and there's definitely a lot of mirrors and glass like objects in my living room and they seem to like just collect dust all the time so the majority of my cleaning is just me dusting and cleaning mirrors what else did I do today after I was done doing all of my cleaning and tidying and lit my candle I bought myself some flowers because girl even if nobody's buying me flowers I'm gonna buy me some flowers okay I'm not waiting for anyone to buy me flowers I'm gonna buy myself flowers because I like receiving flowers so why not give myself flowers to receive you know yeah I bought myself some flowers the other day and I decided to like put them in my in my vase and get them all looking Looking nice and pretty on my coffee table and it all looked really cute and nice I'm hoping that these flowers actually last because the only thing I don't like about getting flowers is the fact that they die which is really annoying but um, I don't want to get fake flowers I actually like real flowers so as much as real flowers die really quickly I still find joy in the fact that I can replace them with fresh new flowers when one bunch of flowers die I have a reason to buy myself some more flowers you know and then I organized and planned my week with my weekly schedule planner that I put on my whiteboard I proper enjoy like making a table putting Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday on there and then color coding my morning my afternoon and my evening and then I fill it out and put all the things that I need to do each day for the whole week Natana actually inspired me to like make a timetable because she literally makes a timetable all the time like she actually lives by timetables not just when she's like studying for school and stuff but just her general life like she'll just make a timetable of what she's gonna do like I don't know who taught her that it wasn't me because I'm learning from her to be doing that so I have this massive whiteboard that I've had for ages and I thought I might as well like use it for something useful to help me get my life together made some notes about some content that I want to do this week I actually asked you guys on Instagram for videos that you want to see on my channel over the next couple of weeks so I basically went 
through that whole list of everything that everyone sent me and just made a note of them and obviously I'll just be planning around those requests so I can try and get those videos up for you guys and when I get those videos up y'all better watch it okay because you guys requested it don't make me film the video spend time editing it and then you don't watch it or like it or share it or even subscribe to the channel that you're requesting the videos from hello <laughs> <laughs> But yeah guys, I'm gonna make sure that I try and get as much of these videos up for you guys over the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna try and be as consistent as I can be on YouTube. I'm actually committed to the mission right now. But yeah guys, let me quickly go and eat my dinner so I can wash my hair, get it cornrowed and get to bed as early as possible because we're on this mission of waking up earlier and starting my day earlier. So I need to not be up till all hours of the night when I need to wake up early the next day, so yeah okay so guys this is the shampoo that i normally use this is like my go-to shampoo i've been using this shampoo for a very long time and i love it like no complaints but i did get sent a whole bunch of palmer's uk products by treasure tress that i wanted to try as well so i'm thinking about maybe trying their coconut oil conditioning shampoo treasure tress does like these um monthly packages i think they're called or like boxes where there's loads of products it's like your hair and body supply for the month and this is what i got for the month of january i believe which is all palmer's products once i wash my hair with this this is the leave-in conditioner that i normally use but i think i'm gonna try this one this was in my treasure Tress box a couple of months ago and it's the eco natural cannabis sativa oil leave-in conditioner this is the deep conditioning hair mayonnaise that I normally use. This is also one of my go-to hair products that I've been using in my hair for a very long time and I absolutely love it. I usually like to leave this in overnight so that it gets a proper full-on deep condition but I'm not going to be doing that today. I don't have the time and tonight is the only time that Natanya has to camera on my hair so I don't have time to really do a full-on deep conditioning and detangle and everything. I'm basically going to just wash my hair with this and then throw in this leave-in conditioner and I'm good to go. When I wash my hair, I separate it into like four sections or sometimes I might do one half on this side and one half on that side. I've got my bucket of water here. I don't use a shower head. I just go straight in with just the bucket of water. Wet the whole thing first. I still kind of separate it into two halves. Right, so I've basically wet both sides not completely drenched but it's wet and then just get my shampoo that i'm trying out today leave that into me and there and then just basically get it in i usually start with one side and make sure one side is like saturated with the soap first before i move on to the other side I would do four sections but because I'm like just trying to do a quick wash I don't have time to be doing four sections so sometimes it's just easier for me to just do two sections instead of four and also separating it like this stops my hair from like tangling my hair literally when it gets wet it literally starts to turn into dreadlocks and starts sticking together by itself and then I have to like detangle it so much so taking my time to like wash one side and then moving on to the other side um, actually helps for it to not um, tangle up too much I'm just going to add some water now just lather it up how dirty is my hair? is it like really dirty? is the water really dirty? it's even light brown okay so it's not as dirty as I thought it was going to be it's just surprising the cameras I took out I have, I've had them in for a very long time I actually can't remember when the Tanya K rolled that one right so when I'm like lathering it up I try not to like do it like because that can make my hair get tangled up so I try to like do one motion which is usually downwards and then I squeeze at the tips and then if I'm scratching my scalp and going in 
I try not to do it too crazy. So I just do one spot at a time. This is all to try and help my hair not be too tangled up when I'm done. So it's just easy to comb through. And then obviously when the time it came rolls it, it's not too um, painful because it's all tangled up and stuff. This is where having nails actually come in handy. I don't have any nails. So when I have my usual long nails, it's, it actually helps when it comes to like washing my hair because I can really dig my scalp. Girl, what are you doing? Stop, Natanya. <laughs> crusty finger on my neck. I've got two acrylic nails on. So, oh my gosh, my nail, can you see that? My nail has chipped, so it's like getting caught in my hair. No one cares. What? <laughs> right, I need to quickly cut this nail off because it's actually really annoying. Look at my nails, guys. Oh my gosh, I need to do my nails tomorrow. Okay, that's much better. I ain't got no nails getting stuck in my in my curls and my coils anymore so i can really go in on my scalp i'm just gonna do one more wash after this rinse yeah 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 rinsing my hair yeah rinsing my hair yeah sometimes i have to like stand up for a second because my back hurts bending over the bar so i need to like stand up and i'll just um continue washing while standing for a little bit give my back a bit of a break so this is my second wash now guys and I'm pretty confident that my hair is clean. I can feel my scalp breathing. Right, I'm just gonna rinse out the rest of this soap. Eyes are closed at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that the water is no longer brown and it's nice and white. These end bits that I need to come off, this is as much shedding as I've gotten while washing my hair. When I comb it out, then I'll know exactly how much shedding I have. Okay guys, I'm just smothering all of this leave-in conditioner into my hair. Look at the shrinkage guys. The shrinkage is so real. My hair is literally like past armpit length. Oh, I did my skincare routine as well because my face is already wet and it's night time, it's like 10.30 at night. So I thought I might as well do my skincare routine while I'm like, in the bathroom and my face is already wet. I'm just gonna go through my hair with a wide tooth comb to detangle it and basically just prep it for Natanya to cornrow it for me. The only heat that I put in my hair is a blow dryer. So I'm probably gonna go through it with a blow dryer really light just to stretch it out a bit so that when the tanners do my cornrows the cornrows can be as flat and as neat as possible considering that i've had my hair in cornrows and i've not touched it or combed through it or done anything to it in probably about two months or so i don't think this amount of shedding is that bad it looks a lot more than it actually is professor keating my criticism isn't that you didn't get the letter thrown out but that you didn't go at the witness hard enough during the cross we all do stupid things when we're 14. pretty sure he wasn't 14 when he chose to become a cop what doesn't being a cop have to do with anything what kind of guy turns his back on his own people okay none of this helps our case right now exactly we're going to see you prep for tomorrow Today. I went to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning. By the time I was finished detangling my hair, blow drying it out and everything, Natana did get started on cane rolling my hair till like after 12 a.m. And before we knew it, it was 3 a.m. So yeah, we both went to bed really, really late last night and Natana is actually still sleeping. To be fair, I actually woke up around 8.30 a.m. this morning, but the struggle to actually physically get out of bed was real. 
okay so yeah it's almost 10 o'clock now and i've just put my workout clothes on and i'm gonna do my workout i want to do my nails because they are jacked up honey look how jacked up my nails are i want to wax my armpits Ugh. yeah so today just gonna be me doing a bit of self-care i'm gonna also edit this vlog and guess who's coming over guys natanya's boy best friend lost my v-card prank video yeah 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 he's coming over today <laughs> and san is filming a video with him for her channel so this is going to be the first time he's come over since the v-card prank yeah it's going to be interesting it's never been awkward before but obviously after the prank it is kind of like uh hi natanya's mom <laughs> please don't kill me it was really just a prank <laughs> let me start this workout free crumpets are actually all right and here's the evidence this one has woken up my hot chocolate is cold girl bye. i feel like i've got the itis after all that food that i just ate but i was so hungry just scrolling through instagram one of you guys sent me a tiktok and i think it's so interesting and i love it blessing dot xc she sent me this um tiktok i saw this and it made me think of you when you mentioned in your newest vlog how you want to start waking up earlier so this is the tiktok if you get up after 6 a.m please listen to this so i had a bit of an epiphany moment the other day I realised if I get up at 6am versus 9am, that literally adds on another day to your week. 3 times 7 is 21, which is basically another day. Add that up over the year, you're literally getting around about 50 more extra days. If that doesn't make you want to jump out of bed, I don't know what will. Getting up at 6am versus 9am equals 3 hours. 3 hours multiplied by 7 days equals 21 hours. 21 hours is more or less a whole day and then there's 52 weeks in the year so you're literally getting another 50 days in the year by just waking up three hours earlier that's crazy i'm not gonna lie that's a really good motivation tactic honestly to know that if you wake up a few hours earlier in your day for the whole of 
the year you're gaining an extra 50 days and you know how we're always complaining that this is not enough time in a day there's not enough time to do stuff well there actually is you kind of have to like make that time and find that time but then the issue is like how does one wake up at 6 a.m like you lot that wake up at 6 a.m like how i'm even still trying to manage waking up at 7 a.m let alone 6 so yeah i don't know i'm gonna still keep working on waking up at 7 a.m if i can get down to 6 a.m girl i'm a whole new person i'm a whole new amina at that point <laughs> but yeah like i love the sentiment of that message and it is very motivating thank you to blessing for sending that to me in my instagram dms i like it when you guys are sending me stuff that is in relation to something that you've heard me say or mention i think it's quite cute it's almost 12 o'clock now guys well let me just reply to blessing and just say thank you to her i'm gonna jump in the shower we're gonna wax my armpits and then we gonna do my nails okay all right let's do that this is the body scrub that i used in the shower it's from k mill k mill i hope i'm saying that right but it's a black owned company this is what it looks like inside it literally makes my body feel so soft and moisturized when i come out of the shower and it actually proper smells like strawberries it's got like some kind of oil in there so when i come out of the shower my body's not like super super dry but yeah i really really like it and i've been using it um for the past couple of months now and i try and use a body scrub at least three times a week this is like my regular body scrub it's from soap and glory and it's a really really good body scrub i actually really really like this body scrub as well this is what it looks like inside it also smells really really nice and when i use it my body feels super super smooth so i'm just going to continue using both basically <laughs> i just received this massive box well it's not a massive box but compared to what's inside it's definitely massive um it's from Too faced they sent me two eyeshadow palettes which is super cool i don't even know how to use eyeshadow but i appreciate the fact that they know that i exist and they sent me these eyeshadow palettes maybe i'll film a video where i'm basically learning how to do eyeshadow yeah i think i might actually do that and see how i get on this one is looking very much like my one gold that i put on my eyes all the time so this might come in handy <laughs> but um yeah these look really really good do you guys remember from the previous vlog this plant was is having another leaf opening up look it's actually opened up yes look at it literally took a couple of days for it to fully open up oh and thank you guys so much for the names that you guys have been suggesting for my five plants that i showed you in the previous vlog these names are so funny we're gonna have a little naming ceremony for all five of the plants and officially name them with the names that have been decided from your suggestions yeah i'm actually excited about that so if you haven't seen the previous vlog and you don't know what the hell i'm talking about you might want to go and watch the previous day in my life vlog if you want to throw in your suggestions of names for my dear plant babies let's wax my armpits yeah 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 the last time i tried to wax my armpits was roughly i don't know maybe like a year ago you guys would have seen in a vlog that i did during the first lockdown and i attempted to wax my armpits for the very first time actually it went a lot better than i expected it to go so i'm feeling fairly confident that i'll be all right this time around this is actually the exact same wax that i attempted to use the last time so i've basically had the same wax for a year now it's been inside its box this whole time hopefully this is going to be a quick process because my armpits aren't even that hairy like there's barely any hair this side has a little bit more hair than the other side but it is very minimal this is going to be so quick guys it's just going to be a really really quick wax look how my skin is just looking smooth and succulent uh -huh. wow wow i got two words for you body scrub get into it okay get into it right i've got a mirror here so i can see what i'm doing wait do i do it upwards or downwards i can't remember what direction i meant to like put the wax but i'm just gonna do it like this oh no i meant to spread it in the opposite direction no oh my gosh i should have read the instructions before i started i feel like i meant to spread it in the opposite direction of how my hair grows or whatever something along those lines but I've started now. I need to just keep going. It's on there, guys. It's on there. Oh, it's already gone hard. Okay, I've got a little flap here that I've picked off that I can use to, like, pull it. Hopefully, I can get all the hair out in one pull. There's not even that much hair anyway, so I'm hoping that it just takes it off. <sighs> okay, 
Here we go. Right. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Come on, I mean, I've done this before. Why am I scared like this? Well, it's been a year, but still, like... Okay. Come on, Amina, you can do this. Okay. One, two, three. Wow, it really pulled it out of the roots. Fully pulled it out of the roots. Oh my gosh, my the wax is gotten too cold. So I'm gonna have to go back and reheat it. This is why you have to do this stuff really quick because the wax will just cool down on you. Let me quickly finish up waxing my armpits and then we thinner do our nails. Manu. Look who's here, Monua. This is him in the flesh, the best friend. The best friend, the one and only. Come on. He looks so innocent. I, I knew, I knew it wasn't true. No, you didn't. I knew it wasn't yeah. true. Now that I've seen him again, I'm just like, nah, not no, Monua. It's because you had not seen him Monua. in a long time. Yeah, I was like, no, there's no way Monua would have done that. To me, Monua, to me. <laughs> no. And we're all COVID free because we all had it. <laughs> oh yeah, all three of us had COVID yeah. at different times. Well, well, me was, and Tanya yeah, at the same time. time. He, he, had, he had it first. Then it was her. Then it was yeah. her. Yeah. 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 So he had it. And then when, when did you, you get it from? When his one ended, from. that's when mine started. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember Natalia was traumatized by the fact that he had <laughs> he had COVID, and then she ended up getting it. It was like a week or two weeks. Was it ages before, or after? No, the it? day his um, quarantine ended is when I caught it. Ah. So it was like just after he stopped, and yeah. he doesn't even know where you got it from. Yeah, and then Natalia gave it to me, as you guys already know. We're so all free now. we're all COVID so free. It's we right. called it free, thank the Lord, we made it, okay? Anyways, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I'll be coming to um, take a glance. No, stop with your glance. I'll be taking a glance as I walk past your room. No. Taking a glance as I walk past the room for the rest of the day. <laughs> Do my nails. Do my nails. Do my nails. I'm kind of liking that. Kind of like a deep navy blue. How do you turn this on? Oh, there you go. It looks like when um, them people that do the teeth whitening and then put the thing in their mouth. <laughs> Imagine I tried to whiten my teeth with this. Is it the same thing? Is it the same LED light that they use? Ooh, it's making that funny color on the screen. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> At the back, it's got the time settings. So we've got 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and 60 seconds. Um, how do I do zero seconds? How do I turn it off? Uh, I'm just, I don't, okay. So basically press it and then press it again and it turns off. This is such a nice nail file. It's so cute, like, I love this nail file. Feels like it's plastic, but it's clearly not. Do small, small shaping. I'm definitely taking a nap after this because I'm so tired. Wait, let me get my water bottle. I'm gonna buff out the nails now. To be completely honest, guys, I feel like I prefer someone else do my nails as opposed to me doing my nails myself. Because I just feel like when I go to my nail tech to get my nails done, it's like that's my time to just relax and do nothing, like, and just let someone else take over and beautify my hands for me um as opposed to me doing it myself i find it the same as when going to the hairdressers and the hairdresser does your hair for you kind of like a luxury for someone else to do your hair as opposed to you doing your hair yourself me doing my own nails is just too close to work for me <laughs> it's too close to effort for me but my nails need to get done and we're still in lockdown, so a girl got to do what a girl got to do. And you know what, to be honest, it actually does feel nice to just sit here and just do my nails. So, yeah, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. But if I had the choice, I'd prefer someone else do my nails, you know? My base coat done. I'm going to get my laptop because I can watch how to get away with murder because I'm clearly addicted. Ugh. Here. Right, putting my hand in here so that the base coat can dry. I've set it to 60 seconds, so hopefully it won't take too long to dry. And then I'm going to go in with my color. Love it. I don't know if this is dry or not. Should I touch it? Oh, it's not quite dry. I'm going to have to put it back in. Do it for another 60 seconds. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna do it for another 60 seconds. Okay, okay this meeting is over. Then call your damn guards. Mm. 
Just like you call the prison guards that night, order them to do your dirty work. Okay, I'm getting security on the phone right now. You sure you want to do that? Because I can go on live TV <laughs> right now and say that your boss ordered a kill on my client. You are you deeply mistaken, Annalise. And you're basic. Oh. <laughs> you knew how easy it would oh, be to no. the black man as a threat to that white woman. It's a story your people have been telling since the dawn of time. Do you understand how unstable you are? Tell her, Annalise. You use it against me. Anything Tell her, AK. Enemy you knew was smarter than you. The color's actually quite dark. But I do like it. Emmett Till, Scottsboro Boys, Central Park Five. Miss Keating. These false accusations all started with the same lie. That black men are wired to attack white women. Another black man's body being paraded in the court and me having to beg for justice. Beg for you to, beg for you to see him as a human being. Six this people and they're the only ones who have the power to do right. So do right. Miss just realized this is probably a whole bunch of spoilers for those of you that haven't watched how to get away with murder <laughs> just hearing everything in the background don't even need to watch the show as i'm putting my hand inside the um inside the led lamp i keep touching the sides of the thing so it's like i'm smudging the nails as i'm trying to put them in to dry Right, what's wrong with me okay guys my battery's actually about to die this is what my nails are looking like looking very midnight blue love it love it thank you guys so much for joining me in today's vlog if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on because your girl is coming with the content okay and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>